Good morning. It's a beautiful day here in Citrus County. Homosassa Judge Yard and Lucinda's Garden in Judge Yard. And we're gonna do an update on the yard and on the garden. I've got a lot of projects to do out here and I never know when I'm gonna be functional or how long I'll last. So I don't know how long any of this will take. It's probably a couple of weeks work, but uh, you know, the way things go, it might take me 10 years. But anyway, so just to give you an update, okay, we'll start with Lucinda's Garden. First, here is the Mexican plant. Now, what's happened with the garden is it went through a freeze. Pretty severe one for a while, but you can see there's still a bloom happening here. And I'm told that thing will come back no matter what anyway. Next, we got one of the pencil cactus, which has gone red, but it's still there. And this one's actually looking pretty good. So I have hopes that that'll hang in there. Then we've got, I think this is the plumeria which hung in there for a long time, but now it seems to have fizzled away, and I don't know if that'll come back or not. I, actually, I don't even know if that's the plumeria. This might be the plumeria. So there is a third plant, I don't know what it is. This thing here again, did not like the cold, and again, lost all its leaves, and I don't know what the status of that'll be. My cactus seems to have weathered it, and I expect that will come back. It is not thrilled with it, but I think it'd be okay. The dragon fruit, some of it's looking bad, some of it's looking good, but the way that thing rambles on, I think that'll be okay. What we're looking for now is for it to climb up that post. And then we've got my jade plants, which have lost all their color, but they still have good form. I'm hoping they'll hang in there. The wandering purple thing seems to be sort of trying to make a comeback today with the sun, so that might be okay. Again, I have hopes. My pineapple plant has actually shown some growth down there. We've got a couple of extra layers in here now of uh, stump or base tree or whatever you want to call that. And again, maybe, maybe not, but I'm hoping that one, I think that one will hang in there. Over here on the north side of the garden, we've got the spider plant, which looks like it always has. And we've got the mother-in-law plant or the Severus snape plant. <laughs> and they have plenty of them. I mean, that started as three or four, and it's sent up all sorts of shoots, so I think that'll hang in there. This orchid cactus, again, it's going to that red color, which I don't think is a good thing for these, but maybe the other one, the second one, that bad leaf has gotten real bad, but the rest of it is still green, so that might be okay. And the fern down here, and that looks like it's going to hang in there. You can also see there's a lot of weeds. So I've got a lot of weeding to do all over the place under here. So a lot of work just to get the garden going. Now in the yard itself, there's several trees I want to take out. I let all this stuff grow up. I've sort of got a line that I've tried to maintain here. And this tree or pair of trees, I'm not sure which, have violated that line. So they've got to come down. So that's one project. Another project is if you look along that line, you'll see there's a large excess of dirt right in front of me there. That's got to be taken down to the level of the rest of this just for symmetry's sake. And I can use the dirt elsewhere. Down here in the lower 40, I'm slowly reclaiming this. I used to be able to go around the whole property, but that got messed up in a couple of storms. And I've made it back to this point, and I've got a tree that fell down here in the way, so I've got to come down here and cut that out. There's a tree there and a shadow of a tree. Isn't that interesting? The shadow of that tree is coming right down on the tree. So you got to get down here and cut that out so I can get the mower through there. There's actually a path through here and up to the right that goes around the perimeter of my property. This little mess needs to come out expose that pine tree. Now over here, looking down from the yard, you see I've got this beautiful palm tree, and that's being hidden by this junk tree, or weed tree or whatever, and that one. So those two are gonna come down to bring out my palm trees, and probably those two little scrap trees there. Then we got a real tree, I'll probably leave that one. I just wanna bring out my palm tree there. I like the palm trees. Gotta trim that lower branch off that pine tree, because that's too low up to this area unfortunately this tree has to go which is a shame because that's a good tree but i don't want it on this side of the power line that's a weed tree there and that is too so those have got to go again to expose a couple of palms i've got back here you see i've got a nice one there nice one there and there's another one over there so these have to come out to expose that and also this big old tree which is that's going to be the biggest job probably getting that baby out but I'm going to leave 15 feet of that in the ground and then use the top half to make another post to go beside it and build a swing there so that's going to open up that area and bring out my palm trees which themselves need a little bit of trimming 
Then we come over here, and I've got another palm tree that's hidden behind all this junk. You can see a rotted tree trunk in here. That used to be a good old tree. That came down in the storm, one of the storms in 04, and actually hit the house. But that's got to come out to expose and give light and air to that palm tree right there. Another big palm tree right here. And there's another one over there. So all this stuff in the front here has to come out. So that's going to be a big job getting that out. Taking a look back over here, this is where I took out those trees recently. And you can see we've got that area cleaned up now. So we'll get some grass growing in there as soon as the grass season starts. Another big project in the yard is that shed. The contents have to be moved to that shed. And then that shed and rebuilt over here. But also the flooring material I used in here has not held up well. I used oriented strand board, which was supposed to be able to hold up, but it sort of shrunk in the spots inside where it's rotting away, even though I fully sealed it. So that's very disappointing, so I'm going to have to lift that whole shed and put a new floor under it. And again here, I've got another beautiful palm tree with a real tree right beside it. And I would like to fully expose that palm tree, but that's a good tree. I really can't mess with that tree. I might have to trim some of the branches that are directly over the palm tree that are limiting it. And then this is all a mess back in here. Got all sorts of weed trees and stuff. So there you go. A lot of, a lot of work to do out here. I just wanted to make a record of it before I start doing any of it. Because I never know what's gonna happen. I might you know, wake up uh, like this afternoon. I might come out this afternoon and take down that tree or that one. I don't know which one. I'll come out here and what I feel I'll do. And so I wanna have a record of what's there now. So when I take it out, I can say, see, that's gone now. Okay, so. Happy day to you.